Nancy Pelosi telling the media today that the Republicans' complaint about the so-called whistleblower not having firsthand knowledge of the call with Ukraine that he was apparently so upset by is without merit and fraudulent. Really. Because, you know, maybe I'm going out on a limb here, but if you're upset about how something is being handled, it's usually because you actually have firsthand knowledge about how it's being handled. To hear a bunch of office gossip and report that as a, quote, whistleblower? That seems kind of snowflakey to me. But nonetheless, that's exactly what this whistleblower did. Whistleblower. Think about that term. Interesting, right? Well, that term doesn't sit so well with one very real whistleblower, a gentleman who risked his entire career calling out the CIA for its torture programs, wound up in jail because of it. John Kerioku blew the lid on the CIA's torture program during the Bush administration and was prosecuted by the Obama administration. He says he, Edward Snowden, and many others have faced real consequences, risking everything to inform the American people. This whistleblower doesn't know the meaning of the word. I am very happy to have on the show tonight Mr. John Kirioku himself to explain. John, welcome. Thanks so much for having me. So walk us through it. I mean, you actually did risk a lot. You wound up almost three years in jail because of your exposure of a program um, that made a lot of news, by the way, and a lot of Americans were really shocked by. Uh, but this whistleblower, does he deserve oh. the same term? I, I'm not calling him a whistleblower. I don't think that he is a whistleblower. Mm -hmm. There's a there's actually a legal definition of whistleblowing uh, here in the United States. It's written into the Whistleblower Protection Law. A whistleblower is any person who brings to light any evidence of waste, fraud, abuse, illegality, or threats to the public health or public safety. And mm -hmm. there's a way that you go about doing it. Uh, what this whistleblower did, you know, he may have begun the process uh, the way he was supposed to begin it and then it just kind of spiraled out of control. I, I then wouldn't even call him a whistleblower so much as, as I have called him an anonymous source for the Democratic staff members of the House Intelligence Committee. Um, he did, as we know, meet with Adam Schiff's staff before yes. even filing this whole complaint, which also I think taints this in some ways. Uh, it does. It does, yeah. I mean, it, it does. That, that's actually a violation of, of the letter of the law. What you're supposed to do, according to the whistleblower protection law, is you're supposed to go to the inspector general, and then the inspector general investigates, and then the inspector general goes to the committee. You do not go to the committee, and you certainly don't go to the committee first. But what happened in this case, the, the whistleblower first went to the committee, then to the inspector general, then the IG went to the legal staff, the general counsel, which then went to the CIA leadership, back to the IG, to the DNI IG, to the Justice Department. It was an unwieldy situation, and it just spun out of control. Do you think um, that, that this is effectively the deep state at work, that there are a lot oh, yes. of people that didn't like this president and Absolutely, want to take him down? Yes. Yeah, absolutely, yes. You know, people laugh at us sometimes when we use the term deep state, mm -hmm. but there is a deep state. The deep state is real. You don't mm -hmm. have to call it the deep state. You can call it the federal bureaucracy. You can call it the mm -hmm. government, but mm -hmm. it's a deep state. And this deep state from the very beginning of this president's administration has sought him ill. They've proven that time and time again. So talk to me a little bit about... Um the term again, whistleblower, how would you characterize this person? Would you say democratic operative? Would you say leaker? Um, how, would you, how would you define? Because consider <laughs> what the media has done, right? They, they have put this yes. person way, way up on a pedestal yes. and they're, They've you know, they're just you know, a crusader for justice. And you, on the other hand, and, and some others that have risked a lot, um, ha have done much more in terms of exposing things that probably needed to get exposed this guy is reporting gossip. You know, I would call this guy a busybody. I wouldn't call him a whistleblower. I'm not even sure I'd call him a, def a Democrat op Democratic operative as much as I might call him a Democratic operative wannabe. Mm -hmm. um, still, you know, I I you wonder why he didn't think this through, that if he were going to try to do an end run around the process and go directly to the committee, certainly 
we would figure out who he was. We would see those pictures of him uh, it, with Joe Biden and with Hillary Clinton and with all these other Democratic uh, Party uh, leaders. Mm -hmm. Did he think that he could keep that quiet or, or secret? He and that's important didn't in your view to know, right? I mean, because it, is, it, it because colors it, his ob lack of objectivity, I suppose. I agree. I think it goes to motivation, yes. Now, as you pointed out correctly, uh, he did not have first-hand knowledge of this, uh, of this phone call. Mm -hmm. This is something that he heard. And now, apparently, based on what we've heard so far uh, on Capitol Hill, he didn't even have second-hand knowledge of the information. Unbelievable. Uh, he's, he's apparently uh, cashing in, though. He's got a GoFundMe account oh. that's uh, raised uh, more than $225,000. Oh. Now, we don't know where that money's come from. I mean, you're not supposed to contribute there as a foreigner, but who's to say? I mean, what is your thought on that? Oh, I, you know what? That's a very, very good point and a very important point. Now, we're not even supposed to say this man's name mm -hmm. uh, because he's supposed to be protected. This is supposed to be such a secret process. And now he's going to get rich with a GoFundMe campaign, the source of which we don't even have any idea. And there's no oversight over. That doesn't make any sense to me, certainly any legal sense at all. Wild stuff. John, it's really good to see you. Thank you for speaking up. I appreciate it.